There are an awful lot of laws out there. Most supposedly were created with the intention of protecting the public good. However, some laws are just plain dumb and others are varying shades of stupidity. Here are 10 of the dumbest things to have ever been banned. With high population densities, finding adequate cemetery space in Europe has been a significant issue for centuries. The village of Saint-Porinx, France, has found a very easy solution. If you don't have a cemetery plot and wish to be buried in the village, you're not allowed to die. The law is mostly about policing cemetery space, but the unfortunate phrasing has elicited laughter from observers, and it's not helped by the fact that the ordinance also warns that offenders will be severely punished, though it's not quite clear as to how that punishment would be administered. There are countries which have banned certain types of movies. This is hardly unheard of. However, the city of Manila in the Philippines has a very specific law. It has outlawed movies by Claire Danes. Back in 1998, Danes spent several months in Manila shooting for the film Broke Down Palace. She had plenty to say about the experience, such as describing the city as ghastly and weird and smelling of cockroaches. The city responded with an ordinance banning all of her movies from being shown. The Filipino president even commented that Danes shouldn't be allowed to return to the country. Everyone is a critic. A growing number of countries, including Germany, Sweden, Japan, Iceland, Denmark, New Zealand, and Norway, are legislating what parents can name their children. The purpose is to protect children from names like Yad Detroit, Metallica, Superman, Monkey, Sex Fruit, and Adolf Hitler, as well as a variety of unpronounceable symbols. But these countries go much further. Some have officially approved lists from which parents must pick. Creative spellings of approved names are not automatically permitted. Names have to indicate whether the child is a boy or a girl and can't be confused with the traditional last name. Banning bear wrestling sounds dumber than it actually is. Multiple states in the US have banned bear wrestling. First of all, you're probably asking yourself, who actually does this? The obvious answer is crazy people, but the actual answer is horrible people. Bear wrestling started in Europe and migrated to the US in the 1800s. You could find it in a variety of places, but it became particularly monetized in traveling sideshows. Spectators were promised a battle between a fearless wrestler and a vicious wild animal, except that's not exactly what was delivered. In order to not make this sport suicidal, the bear was tamed as much as a bear can be. More importantly, they pulled its front teeth and removed its claws. Animal cruelty wasn't a terribly big issue in the 1950s and 60s when these laws were enacted, but this particular performance was exploitative enough to get the government's attention. Florence, Italy has outlawed a piece of architecture. According to a local ordinance, no building shall include flying buttresses. Flying buttresses are external supports attached to large churches by arches. It's a mainstay of Gothic architecture developed around the 13th century during the Middle Ages. But Florence, and indeed all of Italy, was never comfortable with Gothic architecture. They prefer buildings to look more like those of ancient Greece and Rome, so they ban the architectural element. You won't find a single one in Florence. Dorset, UK has a very specific law in the books. You cannot slap somebody with a dead eel. Conger cuddling, as it's called, is a local sport dating back to 1974 and played for charity. Competitors stand on wood blocks and attempt to knock opponents off with five-foot dead eels attached to ropes. An animal rights organization threatened to launch a national campaign against the sport, not because it was cruel to the eels as they were already past caring, but because it insulted the dignity of the dead. The law says nothing about live eels, but presumably that's not permitted either. This next one is a case of stupidity by omission. Australia has banned minors from buying cigarettes and alcohol. It is also forbidden to supply these items to minors in any way. However, there are no laws against minors actually using these restricted items. A lot of laws sound dumb because they're archaic. They may have made sense a hundred years ago, but not now. So when you hear of elephants being banned from beaches in Grandview, France, you might think that there's some history to the law. There isn't. The law dates from 2007. In the previous year, a circus was allowed to bring its elephants onto the beach and play in the water. The problem is that they defecated in the water so much that public health inspectors had to issue a public health advisory. This French law actually bans all circus animals from walking on the beach, but you can thank elephants for this law. The next law really is about history. In Australia, it's illegal to wear felt shoes, black clothes, and a blackened face in public. The logic is that no one would look like this unless they're intending to cause mischief. 
This law has some historical precedent in the Anglosphere. In fact, there was even a time in Britain when wearing black in public was a capital offense. You can wear your suit of full plate any number of places, but don't expect it to be accepted in the United Kingdom's House of Parliament. This law dates all the way back to 1313, when Edward II was in power. Edward had a low-born favorite, and probably lover, Piers Gaveston. Gaveston and the nobles treated each other with considerable contempt, and the nobles repeatedly pushed for Gaveston to be exiled, sometimes showing up in arms and armor when they did so. So Edward, rather than dealing with the underlying problem, simply banned the wearing of armor in Parliament. In 1327, Edward was forced to abdicate, and he conveniently died several months later. However, this esoteric rule persists to this day. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching, and thanks for learning.